Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Wrapped X here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and today we are back on the competitive server setup. If I sound a little bit different today, it's because I've come down sick. Um, it's just a uh, just a nose and throat thing right now, but um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. So um, if I sound a bit funny, I do apologise for that. Um, otherwise, we're going to go ahead and jump back into law creation for the competitive server setup. Now, I was warned yesterday that uh, a couple of these triggers on here were going to uh, basically trigger this every hour. And that, uh, you know, was, was basically going to tax them at 10% every hour, and that's not really what I had intended. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see if we're going to use demographic change. There we go. And if they go into overachiever, there we go, submit. And that will mean that they get taxed 10% as soon as they become a demograph or an overachiever. Um, now This is going to go, they'll, they'll, it'll trigger going up, and it'll trigger going down. So I'm going to change this uh, to 5%. There we go. So that, you know, each, each time this triggers, because it's going to trigger when they go into demographic change, um, and if they get or over, overachiever, and then if they go back out of yeah if they go back out of like if they go up to overachiever 7 perhaps like where they you know they played 7 hours and then they come back down they're going to get charged overachiever on the way back down as well um, so I don't want to tax too much uh, but this will just hit them with a 5% as soon as that overachiever is, is hit Kind of like as a warning, be like, oh, you know, you've, you've hit that threshold, careful now. Um, and then, of course, if they continue playing, it's it's going to start, you know, really, really starting to hit some stuff. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do the same here and go demographic change and overachiever 7. And I'm going to change this to 10. Because I still do want to, you know, kind of heavily penalise for playing more than six hours. But I mean, if you continue to uh, continue pushing, that's going to be that's that's up to you. Um, now I'm going to also go ahead and do overachiever here. Select, and we also want team A and overachiever and has all. There we go. And that's going to mean then that a person who is not on one of the teams does not get taxed. Um, doesn't doesn't get taxed. Oops, that's team A. That's team B. Okay. Yep. Good. Good. Um, yeah, the, the person who isn't part of one of the teams is not going to get taxed that um, that amount of wealth. So that. You know, if, if there are other players on the server who are not on one of the teams, they can play for more than those six hours. Okay, um, so we'll go ahead and we'll leave both of those as they are. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and add another one here. And this one we'll call um, Team Currency... Tax return. All right, and we'll enter a description here, and it says returns team currencies to non-team players to inject currency back into economy. Oops. All right. That's not right. Either. All 
There we are. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set a trigger. And this is going to go... We want to do this on a timer. There we go. And hours between execution will leave at 1. And if demographic requirements, demographic is team A, team B, submit, and citizen out of active and requirements has none, then pay from the treasury bank account uh, will go active and currency will be team A. Oh, can I? Okay, so we'll have to set two different ones. And amount is just going to be 100. And we'll go ahead then and add another one and do pay. And this one will be team. Oops. Demographics will go active and team B currency and 100. Okay, so that's basically going to set up so that um, every hour, if a person is not on either team and they're active, Sure how that's going to work actually. Whether this is going to. Okay. Whether whether that'll trigger anyway, we'll have to check. Um, but that'll go ahead and pay currency then out of the Treasury Bank account to. A, a, player who's not on either team. They don't have team A or team B um, and they don't have either of those requirements. Um, obviously if, if I'm doing this wrong and if someone who has a little bit more experience with law knows you know, whether this active is going to stop that from triggering, um, do let me know in the comments down below. I did get uh, several pieces of input uh, from my viewers yesterday on on my videos, and I do appreciate that, guys. If you're uh, if you're more familiar with how this works, uh, it's very much appreciated. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll leave that one right there, and we're going to add changes to election, and we'll go and do the revision act start. and add that back in. Okay, so let's take a look here and that was essentially the one that I had here so I'm going to go ahead and we'll just get rid of this one. Okay, so what other laws do we want to have on this server? Um, we've got one already that, um, that prevents a person from buying if they're on the wrong, you know, buying or selling with the other team's currency. We've got one that discourages playtime over six hours. And we've got one that allows currency from either team that's been taxed because of over playtime to be sent out to the community. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add a new law here and I want to go ahead and we're going to add a sales tax law so this will be sales tax there we go and we're going to go trade uh, currency trade 
with any currency for any items if demographic team A or team B and actually let's let's remove one of those and overachieve it then uh, tax and amount is going to be a percent and percent is going to be a 5% tax. Uh, oh, this is going to be uh, percent of the occurrence amount. There we go, 5%. Okay, so it's going to attempt to take 5% of currency amount in currency that was used from the citizen and put it into the treasury bank account. Now I'm going to have to change and, and make a separate government bank account here uh, that's going to be set up so that there are two separate bank accounts because I don't want this currency tax to necessarily go out to the out to the general public. Um, I want this one to stay kind of within each team, so I'm going to have to go through and create some bank accounts for this to properly work. But we'll leave this for right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and add an else clause and say demographic requirements and overachiever and team B and submit alright and then we'll go tax and amount is going to be percent of currency amount and 5% okay so this is basically going to say if you are an overachiever it's going to tax you 5% um, of, of whatever you purchase or if someone you know if, if someone's trading with you and you are an overachiever even if you're logged off and, and you've gotten this overachiever status you've played more than six hours someone comes to your store they buy something it's going to tax you 5% or well, sorry, yeah, no, it's, it's going to tax you 5%. Um, if they sell something, it may very well tax you 5% on the sell as well. So, you know, this is, this is, if you're not buying a whole lot, yeah, not a, not a big deal. But, you know, if, if you're buying a whole lot of something, that 5% can start to add up. So all of this, of course, is, is to help discourage people from getting into that overachiever status, help level the playing field uh, and keep it from being overbalanced if you have a whole bunch of people who are overachievers, you know, people who've got no life and play ego for 12 hours a day. Um, this is to help discourage that. So we're going to go ahead and we'll leave this one how that is. And then I think I can go ahead and do one of these and do a oh, hoe. There we go. So bought or sold. There we go. Um, and so this will be, yeah, this is, this is basically says, okay, it's, it only applies if you're buying or selling. Uh, but we can actually we can actually trip this so that it, it always penalizes the person who has the overachiever status. 
Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do demographic requirements and team A and overachiever 7 has all then we're going to tax and this is going to be at a higher tax rate uh, and we're going to go ahead and set this as a percent of the currency amount and we'll set this tax to 7% and so for each step over overachiever it's going to kick up another 2% and we're going to set this to prevent if unable to pay because you know we don't want people um, we don't want people to just be able to get stuff tax free if they can't pay for it so and then we'll go ahead and add one more and demographic requirements and this one will be overachiever and team overachiever 7 and team B has all then tax amount is going to be a percent currency amount 7% prevent if unable to pay yes okay so this is now set up so that both overachiever and overachiever 7 uh, start to pay a tax um, on their purchases or sales within a store while they are that overachiever status, while they have that overachiever status. Um, so hopefully this is going to help discourage people uh, from getting that overachiever status and, and playing more than those six hours. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave that one the way it is um, and we'll just we'll just leave that right like that all right and we'll go ahead and do this um, taxes over achievers on transactions stores okay and this will be transactions taxes there we go and we'll go ahead and there we go and we'll leave that one right like that. I'm not going to bother putting it actually into play at this point. Okay. Um, so I'm going to see about setting up a bank. Uh, we've got our mill in there. Let me see. I think I can probably just set up a bank in here. So there we go. And we'll go ahead and pop that right there. Oops. 1.5, oh goodness. Um, kind of need some uh, some high value rooms there apparently. Um, oops. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just use tier four here, so uh, give okay let's go this way then uh, let's see here, carpentry, this is uh, glass working, and there we go, it is in here, so, uh, framed glass. What did 
that inside? Not enough room. Oh. There we go. All right. And we'll go ahead and we'll just start getting rid of all of these. What did I take out of here? Government office. Okay. I don't think I was really using that one. Uh, we'll go ahead and... There we go. And 1.5. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create an account. And we will <laughs> we'll edit this one and go... Um, Overachiever taxes. Okay, and oops, uh, let's see here. Overachiever advanced settings. Oops. Account users. Mm -hmm. Not sure exactly how to uh, how to run that one. Apparently, there's a Another government um, it's board of elections. There's got to be another government office or something that creates bank accounts for the government. That's the Census Bureau. That's the court. Hmm. I guess I'm not sure uh, where that one is. Government office. Go ahead and put that back up. Okay. Well, we'll just leave that for right now. I'm not sure exactly how to set that up, but. Um, Essentially, I would set up uh, two uh, government offices or government uh, tax accounts. Uh, one for the overachiever taxes and one for just normal sales tax. Um, so that, um, and the normal sales tax, I guess, could be uh, set up by either team um, so that uh, they can um, essentially tax if they wish to their own team members and then use those for road construction or whatever um, and just leave that like that uh, zoning office government office yeah no um, I don't think any of these really one-time executive actions that's not it government office those are related titles Zoning office, that's for districts. Board of elections. Yeah, that's just voting stuff, so. Okay, yep, that's that's not... Uh, yep. 
amendments. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so you can amend the constitution over here. Interesting. Okay, so that's uh, that's going to be, I think, it for today's video. Um, I've kind of gotten the taxes set up, you know, at least in, in theory, uh, the way that I want them to work. Um, there would, of course, be further, uh, further tiers so that, you know, if someone's playing for you know, eight hours, nine hours, ten hours, that kind of thing, there'd be a, a further overachiever tax. Um, as you get up up the, uh, you know, the number of hours that you play over six. Um, but otherwise, I think that will generally take care of at least any of the federal rules, the ones that neither team can change. Um, and then each team can make whatever rules that apply to just their team um, just fine and essentially the way that would happen is you'd set up a court um, and you'd basically go we'll go ahead and we'll add another one here and let's say we wanted to do a team A sales tax Okay, so that uh, Team A could fund their own um, government, so to speak. Um, we'll go ahead and do trade, currency trade, and this is going to be Team A, so we'll go with Team A currency, and any item traded, and we'll just go... This will be a sales tax, so if someone's buying, uh, then we'll go tax, currency with team A currency, oops, and uh, demographic requirements, and we'll go team A, there we go. And if, if we wanted, we could also set this to, um, you know, we, we could either just leave this so that anyone who purchases with Team A currency is taxed, or just people who have, who are Team A. Um, you know, for instance, or if we wanted to, we could set this up so that uh, buying and add a secondary clause in here that says demographic requirements and team A, there we go, and does not have uh, then you could tax at a higher rate for people outside um, you know, so we'll take this hmm, I'll have to see about creation, figuring out creation of uh, government accounts. I'll, I'll have to figure out how to uh, how to do that. Um, but uh, amount would be say currency amount. Whoops, no currency amount. No, we want percent. There we go of currency amount. And say you want to stick a two percent sales tax. Um, try to collect and if citizen doesn't have team A uh, then it'll tax and it's going to go percent currency amount and say you wanted to tax individuals that are not part of the team so you know the other world players uh, say you wanted to tax them at three percent that'll go through then and it'll do a sales tax for the person buying and if they are part of Team A, it'll only cut, charge them 2% tax. If they're not part of Team A, you know, one of the global players, uh, it'll charge them a 3%. That'll just go into the Treasury Bank account, of course. Um, there'll have to be some, some government bank accounts set up, and I'll have to do some investigation as to how to do that. But this would be a way that they could do that um, and basically set up a tax so that, you know, if you're on Team A, 
roads can be funded, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, that would uh, that be a quick way to do that. Um, obviously, again, if, if there's a better way of doing this or if this is not going to work and you happen to know about that, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, that's going to wrap up for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.